Hey everyone, it's Shadow Speedy here. Uh, and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, improve the graphics on NR2003. Uh, so if you if you looked at any of my uh, streams that I did, uh, you'll notice that uh, sometimes with the mod and the tracks that I was making, I was getting blurry cars. Uh, so I'll show a quick example here. The rally track does it. If I can get more crashes with the cars. So you see how the car is all blurry there and um, you can't read anything there. Uh, it's because the graphics need to be tweaked a bit better. It's just too much for the game to handle. And you'll notice some of the other tracks and stuff that you may be downloading, you may be getting blurriness on them as well. Uh, so this will hopefully fix the issue that you have with that. Uh, so the first thing that we are going to do here is we do have to find some information about uh, your game essentially here. Uh, so first thing that we're going to be looking for is um, is going to be some numbers. So first thing we're going to have to find is the dedicated video memory, which is pretty much how much space is in your graphics card. Uh, so the way you can go and do this is if you go to your desktop and just right click on your desktop and go to screen resolution, and click on advanced settings, it will give you your dedicated video memory. So I have uh, four gigabytes. That's when I come up with 4,096 uh, megabytes there. So we're going to want that number. And then what we're going to do with that number is we're going to times it by uh, 1,048,000 uh, thousand five hundred and seventy six that will come up with a number again all depending on how much um, memory you have on your video card that will determine what we're going to be choosing that number for the next number that we're going to be getting here uh, has to do with the display that we have when running NR2003 so to get these numbers here we are going to go back into our NR2003 folder and then we're going to go into the config file and a lot of you will kind of remember this when you first set up the game is it will come up with this so next we're going to be looking for these numbers here and what we're going to be doing here is we're going to get the first number here, which would be your screen width. So that's, for me, it's 1920. We're going to times it by 4. Then we're going to times it by the screen width, which I have as 1080, times by um, the bits per pixel here, which is the 32 here. And for the bits per pixel, uh, what you're going to select here is you're going to select 2 if it says 16 and you're going to select 4 if it's 32. Just this here. So this will be the other number that we'll be getting. So what you're going to do with this I actually calculated mine all up incorrectly when I did it the first time here. So you're going to take this number, so this was the one with our graphics card, we're going to minus it from the one with our screen resolution, and then that's going to get us our magic number here. So with this we're going to go and copy this, we're going to go back into our NR2003 folder. Now we're going to find Uh, the render.dg or dxg. 
going to open that up. We're going to change the uh, endostrophic level here to three nines, and then the texture pixel size is going to be the new number we came up with there. So then you put that in there, and then we're going to go and save that. Uh, the other thing as well that you're going to want to do is the core file here. What I do is I stick an extra one into the cache size as well. Uh, that should help out as well. And then in theory here, if we open up the game, All of a sudden we actually have decent graphics so the ground looks way better you can actually tell the graphics on the card pit sign everything looks way better and then that is essentially how you can go and get way better graphics um, for for your game here uh, if you have any questions comments or concerns or anything like that don't hesitate to uh, you know, put up a comment here. I can go and answer any questions. If you found this helpful at all, uh, please do subscribe. It would definitely help out a lot. Uh, do content like this all the time to help improve NR2003. So if you're looking for even more videos, you should totally check out uh, a couple more of my videos here. Uh, I've actually got a whole playlist full of stuff um, on just how to get the game, how to get mods. You probably know everything about um, Ender 1003 at this point if you're doing this because you've probably gotten mods so you probably don't necessarily need those uh, but if you're looking to create your own tracks I've also got tutorials on how to do that um, and there'll probably be some videos up on the screen right now that you can totally click on if you'd like as well as there's a subscribe button if you'd like to subscribe as well uh, I'd like to thank everyone so much for watching and actually getting to this point in the video and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video bye